Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. Okay, um, I think it's time to do brake adjustment. Let me just uh, check the bolt size here. Correct. There are a few things where there are torques, specifically the, uh, the discs. Now, the discs aren't something that you take off very often. So it, it's probably something you don't need to worry about unless you're changing your discs. And if they get bent, you may need to do that at some point. Or if you do an upgrade of some type, in which case you're gonna need that torque style wrench, which is kind of like a star fitting. And uh, then you'll need that. So, but those aren't terribly expensive. You can get that as a standalone. Now, what I'm going to do here is try to get that little bit of rubbing sound out of these brakes. And if you can see, our disc and our pads, see when you, with mechanical brakes, they only press from one side. If you can see that, you're looking down in here at this pad. I'm gonna go ahead and pause for a minute, see if I can get a better camera angle, some better light. So, okay, hopefully I've got this in a, a better position. I think that's better. Okay, so um, we have our disc, and you should be able to see that moving. And we have our brakes now. Okay, so on, as I said a moment ago, mechanical brakes, they only uh, actuate from one side. Um, so it's not clamping like this, it's clamping like this. One side stays still, the other side presses. So you want, you don't want this pad here to be touching the disc, but you want it to be close. Now, we're getting very little disc noise so right about there the disc may be a little bent but I mean that's uh, that's not something we're going to try to undo um, what I'm going to do is uh, the the brake mounts with these two bolts right here, the caliper bolts onto an aluminum mount, which then bolts to the aluminum frame. Uh, the mount itself is used to determine how far away from center the brake needs to be. In other words, it determines the size of the, uh, the disc or the size of the disc determines how, how tall the mount needs to be. However you want to look at it, six of one, half dozen of the other. Um, the uh, the location relative to the disc is determined by these two bolts. Uh, the holes are slotted. That's why they have these large washers. And so what I'm going to do is loosen them up a little bit. And I'm going to slide the caliper... position it so that the disc is right about the middle in between the pads. And it's kind of a trial and error kind of thing. If you have a spot that's rubbing, that's not a bad place to start working your adjustment to at least get a little space there. And I got it the first time. 
So good. It's not so far away that it's got to bend the disc to get it over to clamp, but it's far enough away that we're not making contact with either pad when the brake is in a neutral position. So that's what you're looking for. I'm going to give these a little more of a tightening just to make sure that they are tight enough. Really should be using a torque wrench on that, but I've done this enough that I'm kind of used to what is reasonable. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like and please subscribe to my channel. If you click the bell icon, you'll receive notifications every time I launch a new video. Thank you for watching.